Welcome to the 21st episode of Season 10 of Eagle News for Tuesday, September 27, 2016. Happy National Chocolate Milk Day! My name is Sophie. And my name is Kate. Please, Please stand, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Netflix. Does that ring a bell? Netflix provides a variety of shows and movies for its users. Netflix is very popular. These girls know a lot about Netflix, but how much do, you, do they know? Let's roll the video. In 1997, Netflix was formed in California by Reed Hastings and Mark Randall. The company Netflix begins offering DVD rentals and sales. Sales were halted and they invested $30 million in the firm. A subscription plan was also formed. In 2000, deals are signed with Warner Brothers and Columbia Film Studios. In 2001, Netflix got a partnership with Best Buy and gave them exposure to 1,800 stores. In 2002, company goes viral and verifies its name as Netflix. And in 2003, subscribers top 1 million. Let's check out what favorite shows our Eagles watch. Grey's Anatomy. 90210. Everything. My favorite thing to watch on Netflix is Grey's Anatomy. Arrow. Simpson. Stranger Things. Okay, my favorite movie on Netflix would have to be The Hunger Games. Netflix is the world's leading DVD rent by mail company. Company opened for business on April 14th, 1998 with 30 employees, 925 titles for rent, and it is still going strong today. Netflix is my life and I love it. <laughs> All I do is watch Netflix. Netflix is like water, it's a necessity. I like Netflix. My opinion on Netflix is I love it and I watch it a lot. Our opinion on Netflix is it's awesome. I happen to not, uh, like Netflix. I used to say Netflix, but Netflix because you can watch shows uh, of a series and um, without, no, you do get commercials, don't you? No, oh, without commercials, I just got confused. But I think it's a good thing. Headlines, the third annual Liberty Tree Elementary 5K is scheduled for Saturday, October 22nd at 9 a.m. Registration is open to the entire community and is due October 3rd. Sixth and seventh grade Battle of the Books meeting is Friday, September 30th in Lab 113 during advisory. Please check in first with your advisory teacher. Questions? Ask Mrs. Miller or Mrs. Wolf. Trivia. Okay, welcome to trivia. Today, text Mr. Meta to his cell phone. There will be three questions and all answers have to be in one text. Sorry teachers, the board wasn't updated. We were busy yesterday. You get two points if you answer first, and you get one point if you answer second through fifth, but you have to answer them correctly. Today's questions are, Madagascar is an island located on the southeast coast of which continent? Again, Madagascar is an island located on the southeast coast of which continent? Next is, Lake Tahoe straddles the border between Tahoe straddles the border between which two U.S. states? <laughs> Again, Lake Tahoe. Tahoe straddles the border between which two U.S. states? Third, Frankenmuth is a U.S. city nicknamed Little Bavara and is located in which state? Frankenmuth, a U.S. city nicknamed Little Bavara, is located in which state? Little Bavaria. I'm sorry, I pronounced these wrong. All right, back to the newsroom.
I wonder what's for lunch today. Do you know where the pizza came from? No. Well, let's go check it out. Today's lunch is pasta of the day. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. I want to know what kind of pasta. I mean, yes. Okay, so I'm pasta. Is it red sauce, white sauce, who knows? Breaded chicken sandwich. All right, those are good. I love those. Domino's pizza. And then you got some fruits, some veggies. Why don't they tell us what fruits and veggies they are? I don't know. Juice and a choice of milk and, what, there's no breakfast today? Did they stop doing breakfast? All right, back to the newsroom. Video report. Do you know Mrs. Sloan? She's a sixth grade math teacher. Her class has been working really hard. Let's go check out what they've been doing. Roll it. Hey guys, let's go see what Mrs. Sloan is up to. My name is Mrs. Sloan, not Sloan, but Sloan. I teach sixth grade math, and right now we are learning about the greatest common factor and distributive property. Last year, I had my lovely little daughter, Avery. She was born on New Year's Day, and she's been a blessing. What are you learning about in class? We're learning about distributive properties right now. I teach for Team 602. My favorite thing to teach is solving equations. Favorite thing about Ms. Sloan's class is that the, is like the different types of things we do. What are you learning about right now? The distributive property. That's all from Mrs. Sloan's class. Thanks for watching, Eagles. I didn't have Mrs. Sloan, but after that, I wish I did. I remember doing all that stuff in sixth grade. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> now, let's go live to Gracie in the library for the sports report. I probably point. Yesterday was a big day for Hyatt Sports. The girls' 7th and 8th grade volleyball teams both won in both cents against Buntsold. The girls' golf team won 163 to 172 against Columbus Gold for Girls. Great job. The 8th grade football team beat Berkshire 14 to 6. Congratulations, boys. Great job, Eagles, overall. Now back to the newsroom. Birthdays. Soon, students celebrating a birthday today are Henry Fenters and Ava Paget. Happy birthday, Eagles! Woo! Next, Kate. Kate, I'm supposed to tell you, Mr. Holt was offended. Oh! <laughs> oh. Sorry, Mr. Holt. I didn't Sorry. have you, but yeah, Mr. Holt, you were Kate's great too. Kate's ashamed. <laughs> Eagle Maybe News. He's gonna accept that. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Holt. Eagle News interviewed Miss Mrs. Hayes in eighth grade. Oh my God. An eighth grade science and ELA teacher. Let's go learn more about her. Let's go meet Miss Hayes. Tell us what subjects and grades that you teach. I teach eighth grade English and science. Do you coach any sports here at Hyatt's? Yeah, I coach the seventh grade volleyball team. So far we're undefeated this season and they're doing an awesome job, I love it. Now let's talk about your family. Where were you born? I'm in Oakville, Ontario. It's a city outside of Toronto in Canada, but I moved here when I was in second grade. Did you play any sports in college? In college, I played for Ohio State's club volleyball team. It was lots of fun and a great experience and we were pretty good. Did you go on any vacations over the summer? I did. In June, I went to Orlando. I still play volleyball with my team, so we went to Volleyball Nationals in Orlando. It was really fun. We went to Harry Potter World. Do you like to do it with your family in your free time? Uh, my family is pretty competitive, so we like to play lots of card games like Euchre, and I have a little nephew and a brand new niece, so we like to play with them and go to the park and do lots of fun things. What college did you go to? I went to The Ohio State University. Tell us about your first job. My first job was actually at the Bob Evans and Powell, right on Sawmill Parkway. I was a hostess. It was awesome because I got all the free roles. What is your goal for the school year? My goal for the school year is just to help my students be the best they can be. Thank you, Kate. Now back to the newsroom. Thank you for calling your pal Bob Evans. This is Alana. May I answer your call to parent? Current event. Last night was the first presidential debate. The Republican nominee is Donald Trump and the Democratic nominee is Hillary Clinton. Good job to both candidates last night.
All right, let's go live for weather and trivia answers. All right, so the winners of trivia were Vols, she got two points, Coons, Sloan, Street, and Meyer all got one point. Good job. Um, the answers were Africa, Nevada, and California, and Michigan. And now to the weather. Hi Eagles, today for weather it will be a high of 71 and a low of 49. It will finally start to feel like fall. In Cancun, Mexico, it will be a high of 88 and a low of 79 with a high chance of thunderstorms. I'm glad I'm here instead of in the rain. Now let's go back to the newsroom. Thank you for watching Eagle News. I'm Sophie. And I'm Kate. Have an awesome Tuesday. Now grab your books and read. Bye! Bye.